Hello guys, um, today I've got a quite uh, fun product to show you um, because I or always saw these like the Mitsubishi 3000 GT or I think the Supra also once had it um, like front active aero and I was pretty bored at home so um, yeah I needed a new project to realize and that's where I had the idea of building active aero on my MR2 and yeah the basic idea was just to make like a little um, something that folds down um, from the front bumper and creates like an additional lowered front lip so you get the um, effect of a Venturi uh, front spoiler which um, yeah the theory is it just simply lets less air under the car um, and with that creates more um, downforce um, that's uh, explained very very simple there's a lot more to it but that's the, the basic basic idea um, and yeah that was the idea and I started by just building um, like this the spoiler out of uh, cardboard to see how everything fits and how to set up the um, mechanism to um, operate everything um, because for that I used um, like normal uh, stainless steel rod with some 3D printed parts and um, also the um, most important part was a Miata, um, first gen Miata NA headlight motor um, because that was super easy to wire up because it simply had um, yeah power, ground and it even had a, uh, yeah, a check uh, cable which you could connect to a uh, LED which then would show you um, if the spoiler is uh, yeah activated or not um, but and also then just two cables give power to the one uh, it goes down put power to the other it pulls the spoiler back up and that was super easy for me to wire up so I just bought uh, that motor for 25 bucks and yeah, that's the project idea. Um, I will show you uh, everything else once I get to it. All right, fast forward to today. Um, as you can see, I redid this part um, out of sheet metal um, because with that I could easily make the yeah the front uh, spoiler part by simply bending up the metal, and it's a little bit more sturdy because the plastic piece like bend down the middle because I only have the hinges on the left and right. I thought, think about adding um, a third one in the middle but it seems sturdy as is. I just have to reinforce these and maybe put a third bearing for the for the rod in the middle um, so that can't bend like that. Um, but that's for the future. Um, and as you can see, um, yeah, the wiring is still a mess. I already ran the cables inside and I used the the side, uh, US side marker uh, yeah, um, location for the for the signal lines because this runs positive to the inside and then from the switch back back um, out and yeah I mean I could flick the switch it works but um, yeah I can't push the switch and show you in the front right here so I have my hot wire here um, with which I can show you. I just have to touch the the wire and everything works, you can see. Oh, it's hard to get the angles right. So I now only have to make the bumper fit. Um, it was hard to, to get that shape. Um, but um, yeah, as you can see, I cut along here and yeah. All right, guys, so everything is wired up for now. So don't mind the mess. Um, this is the control switch for um, deploying the spoiler and putting it back in. Um, it's just an old blinker switch. <laughs> and yeah, this will be wired uh, through a relay um, to the Raspberry Pi, which sits back there see it blinking um, 
and yeah you can put it like that and then you can see this boiler um, fold out and I also now added this uh, factory uh, front lip uh, oh, it's if you can see it in the in the light but this lip um, because I wanted to uh, yeah keep the factory um, aerodynamics when this boiler is um, in its up position so I don't change anything when I'm going on the highway or on the autobahn um, I don't want to change anything that I don't know about so um, I will keep that lip uh, which sits flush um, when the spoiler is in um, so it's everything like normal and then if you want you can deploy the spoiler so um, yeah this I will weld these cuts right here and then I will weld this these nuts um, which you can see in here will weld these in so you can just screw the uh, screws in from the top and you don't have to hold the nuts um, and then I also I'm also thinking about like uh, um, yeah making this surface all pretty and uh, not so dinged up like from from hammering it um, in the right shape but that took quite a while to really get everything get the curve and the angles and everything right so it doesn't hit anywhere here on the plastic but I think now it's pretty good and yeah i think i will add something right here um yeah right here that this isn't like an open space like that but um this will come a little bit later i think all right so i finished um uh, smoothening up the surface um of the spoiler and you can see this is the oem lip which will get attached to the um, nuts i welded on the back here yeah my my welds aren't the prettiest, but they get the job done, I would say. Um, and I also rust proofed the inside and um, drilled some drainage holes um, right here because um, this is where all uh, water can, can get uh, down from the top. And if there weren't any drainage holes, the water could sit here and this piece um, yeah, would be really exposed and easy to rust. So. I put in these drainage holes um, they will be hidden underneath this um, this lip so you won't really see them and then I um, still want maybe I 3d printed a nice uh, kind of little lip which goes between this uh, lip and the actual um, spoiler so you have a little bit of a transition maybe and it will cover up that edge which I couldn't get perfectly even so yeah so much about that I'm now about um, done with the inside and going to paint the outside now um, and I'm going to do three coats because that will be exposed for rocks and everything so I'm gonna do a primer then the matte black that I used um, on the inside and also I will I'm doing a thick clear coat so everything will hold up i will see how that works but um yeah so much about that i will show you the result later all right so there you have it um it's i would say it's finished for now um because later i will um, redo all the plastic pieces in metal i will add a third um a third bearing in the middle so the the rod doesn't bend and um, I also want to support um, the, the mounts for the um, bearings um, so because they're just on a flat piece of metal for now but um, it works because it's supported by the bumper down here um, so it should be plenty strong and then I also have to um, yeah, bend the edges up a little bit because um, it, the, the seating isn't 100% perfect as I wanted, but um, yeah, that's for later. I will do that once I get all the machined pieces in. And yeah, I would say um, thanks for um, coming along on the journey of designing and building this wow. active aero piece. Um, I will do a lot of more updates on that um, 
once I have the time to do so and um, like for example also building something um, that this isn't flopping around like that or it, it's it's pretty sturdy um, but the edge doesn't look that uh, that beautiful so I will add a nice piece right here um, that might be um, 3d printed I don't know um, yet but yeah um, that's my active arrow I will test it out and once I get to the track if I can notice any difference but I don't think so because um, I think this would mainly affect higher um, speeds but I don't know maybe I will notice something maybe I can just imagine it having an effect <laughs> that's always enough for me and it's a cool fun project and yeah one thing I haven't showed you was this um, safety string um, I will yeah um, wrap that around here and fasten it so um, when one of the plastic pieces um, fails um, that this thing won't fall, fall down and, and destroy itself so, um, yeah so that's just um, another safety piece but yeah I think when once everything's built out of metal and um, I built the final design um, I won't need that anymore so yeah I would say thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and you can tell me in the comments any other project ideas which you would like to see um, because I'm always open to, to new ideas which I can um, then yeah realize on my MRS or on anything else and I would say thanks for watching and see you in the next video.